Hi everyone, another popular stock obviously everybody's talking about and thinking about is Tesla. What should they do? Is it too late to get in? What should they do if they've already got it? Well, one of the key problems with Tesla has been not so much the valuation, oddly enough. People say, oh, it's overvalued, ridiculously large sums uh, because the projections on which it's based, if you discount them, yes, it is overvalued on every single rational measure, as JP Morgan said. But I, what I'm saying is uh, it, it's not completely off the scales. That's uh, uh, Although it feels like it, it's not completely off the scales. And that's why the share price hasn't yet collapsed. And it might not do. 226% up over the last six months. Sortino, in terms of the volatility of 48%, which makes it out of the S&P 500, which is what this table is, or some of the S&P 500 makes it one of the most volatile stocks. In actual fact, I've ranked these by volatility. It's only the third most volatile. Apache and Etsy are more uh, volatile than that. Cash flow is a clear problem. Well, they're going to probably do more raises on the stock market at these ridiculous prices as the little kids on TikTok buy in and plow into it on Robin Hood as well. Do you hear me being cynical? Well, actually, what I'm saying is I'm not saying it won't drop. I'm saying with something like this, you might want to take a little bit of profit along the way. It just doesn't fit into my normal conventional uh, method. And it, it rules out my investing in it just on the volatility alone. Now, if, however, you say, stuff you, Alpesh, I want volatility, sunshine, I'd probably say, looking between the two, uh, I'm more inclined, in actual fact, probably, again, if you put a gun to my head, to go with something like an Etsy, which to some extent is similar. It's the sort of online, everybody's now unemployed and sitting at home, and so they're making little things to sell through this website uh, in the US. And it's 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 not had the kind of crazy run-ups because uh, Tesla was 64%, Etsy was only 46%. Uh, and over the last six months, obviously, Tesla's got up 226. That's only going up 67. But it's got more of the fundamentals. Now, you might say, well, Arbus, you're just being safe. You're putting a safe belt. Oh, well, you know, what I'm saying is if you really wanted higher risk, an Etsy is probably closer uh, uh, to something which gives you that high octane you might be looking for. It is risky. This is not for widows and orphans uh, uh, and has slightly stronger fundamentals than Tesla. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, you're comparing one which is the future of automobiles and, and, and exploring the universe with something which is people staying at home and making making things uh, uh, on their kitchen table. Yes, you're right, but we're actually just talking about stock market returns going forward, given how much Tesla's already gone up. So I just want to compare those two head-to-head -head for you in a very quick uh, shorthand analysis.